induced magnetic field. What is induced magnetic field? Let's talk about this. Okay, we have a coil. I have a magnet. Magnet has its own magnetic field. Magnet's magnetic field, we are going to label as applied field or external field. Is there a magnetic field for the coil? No. no. Okay. No magnetic field for the coil. Yes, magnetic field for the magnet. Great. What if I make them approach? Is there a change of magnetic flux through the coil? Yes. Is there an induced current? Yes. They have recurrent produces its own magnetic field, correct? When I make them closer, because there is a current in the coil, this coil produces a magnetic field. So assume a bar magnet is being pushed into a coil of wire. Let's push it into a coil of wire. While they are pushing, as we said, there will be an induced current. Every current has its own magnetic field. Bar magnet, always has a magnetic field. That magnetic field, I will say, external magnetic field, sometimes in your book it says applied magnetic field. External magnetic field, applied magnetic field, this is permanent. You cannot make a change, make, increase and decrease with this. But when a bar, bar magnet is being pushed into a coil of wire, when a bar magnet is pushed into the coil of wire, there is a current. A current is induced in the coil. Every current has its own magnetic field. So this induced core current produces its own magnetic field. Called, what is it called? Induced magnetic field. Now, bar magnet has external magnetic field called applied magnetic field. When make them closer, this current in the coil will have its own magnetic field. Induced current. So that magnetic field is named as induced magnetic field. If there is a magnetic field when you make them closer, uh, of course, every magnetic field is a direction. If we make them closer, if there's a current, as this solenoid must have ample and S. Now, we are going to determine, find a way, learn a way, how to determine which side is ample, which side is S. All right. But there are two cases to make it magnetic flux change. You should make them approaching, or you should make them moving away. First, we will study the case where we make them approaching. If a coil and a bar magnet approach, yeah, okay, this way. Here is the coil, here is the magnet. I will make them approaching. I will make them approaching. If a Coil and a bag approaches, a pair of forces that repels each other is created between the coil and the bag, bar magnet. When an pole is approaching, this pole of the solenoid is going to be, and so they will try to repel each other. If S is approaching, if this is S, this is going to be S as well. They will try to repel each other. In the case of approaching, they will try to repel each other. They will try to repel each other. So what poles repel each other? Flight poles, same poles. Now look at this exercise. Which pole is approaching? And pole is approaching. So this must be light poles. If this is N, then this is going to be N. Light poles. If this is N, then this is going to be Yes. Look at this one. Approaching. Speed shows you approaching. Which pole is approaching? Mm -hmm. If the S is approaching, so they will try to repel each other. So this is going to be slight poles. Then S and S. S. If this is S, then it's going to be yeah. yeah. This is how we determine the poles of a magnet while they are approaching. In the case of approaching, they will try to repel each other. I say try to repel. They cannot repel because I am more stronger than them. I am pushing it.
but they resist this uh, approach. They resist that. They don't want to get closer. So they try to repel each other. So light poles face each other. If A is approaching, M pole, M poles face each other. If S is approaching, S poles face each other. N is approaching, this is going to be M. If S is approaching, this is going to be S. What if we make them move in a way? What if we make them move in a way? Now we will talk about that. Receipts. Receipts means moving away. If we make them moving away, this time it's going to be opposite, attract. If a bar magnet receipts moves away from a coil, a pain of force is that attract each other is created between the coil and the bar magnet. If N is receding, look at the direction of the velocity to the right, receding. If N is receding, this is going to be S. Then that is going to be M. If S is receding, this is going to be N online. This is going to be S. Now, what about direction of the electric current? How can we get direction of the electric current? So we are going to the right hand rule. Now I will, you remember from chapter five, section two, if an electric current is given to a coil, say that electric current is given from front to back, so my thumb always shows end pole. Where is the end pole? If electric current is from the back, end pole is the left side. If electric current is from back to front, back to front, back to front, which side is end pole? Right side is end pole. So let's do an exercise uh, for uh, this. In fact, this is 5 2, but it will help us. 5 2, help us. Now, in this exercise, since electric current directions are given, I want you to label the poles of these solenoids. If electric current through the resistor in here is from left to right, as you see, electric direction from left to right, label the poles of the solenoid. Okay, let's follow the circuit. Electric current goes from left to right, huh? Follow the wire of the circuit. Without changing direction. In here, electric current goes from back to the front. Yeah, electric current direction is back to front. So it will come from the back and to the front. It will go that way. Back to front. Back to front. Back to front on each loop. Then follow the wire, leave from the solenoid. Without changing direction, complete the circuit and come to a negative terminal. Now, electric current is from back to from the diode. Now, apply right hand rule. Your phone reader must be from back to from. Now, look at my thumb. Which side is ample? Right, right side is ample, because thumb always shows ample. This is going to be ample of the solenoid. This is going to be ample of the solenoid. Let's do opposite. What if electric current is from right to left, not left to right? Again, follow the circuit. Electric current goes from right to left, correct? Right to left. Without changing direction, follow the circuit. Follow the circuit. Now, electric current is front to back. Now it is front to back. Yeah, it will go that way. Front to back, front to back, front to back. And from the back come Follow the circuit and complete the circuit. If electric current is front to back, now I apply right hand rule. Four fingers, front to back. Look at my thumb now. Which side is ample? Left, side. Left side is ample, right side is S pole. If electric currents are given, we can find the poles. And we did this in chapter 5, section 2, in fact. But right now, poles are given. Can we find electric current direction? We can. So now I will do an exercise after that. Yes. Assume that this time poles are given to you. According to the poles of the solenoid, what must be the electric current direction through the resistor? So this is ample, this is ample, correct? Now use your pen. Thomas show ample. Grasp your pen so that 
As you see, electric current is from back to, from back to, from your finger, forefinger must show, like this, correct? Back to front, back to front. Then follow the wire, follow the wire. Follow and leave the coil without changing direction. Okay? Am I right? Did I be correct? Yes. So look at the direction of the electric on the resistor. From left to right. Do this one. And call this left hand. So hold the pen so that your thumb points left hand. Curl your forefinger. It is front to back. Front to back. Now it's going to be this way. Electric current on the loop is front to back. Follow the loop, front to back. From back it goes down. Follow the wire of the circuit without changing direction. Electric current direction on the resistor is from right to left. Now I am going to apply this to the question in chapter 5, chapter 6, section 1. What is the direction of the electric current through the resistor? Oh, this is the question how they ask in ministry. So this picture will be given to you. They will ask you what is the direction of the electric current on the resistor or in here. What is the direction of the electric current on the resistor? They will ask this way to you. So now, follow. As pole is approaching, right? If as pole is approaching, in the case of approaching, they will try to repel each other. Light poles face each other. If S is approaching, this is going to be? S. S. If this is S, then it's going to be? Mm -hmm. M. M. I got the poles. Now, direction of the electric current. Use right hand rule. Which side is M pole? Left hand. Yes. Left hand is M pole. Curl your forefinger around your pad. So, front to back. back. Draw it down on each pole. Front to back. Follow the loop. So, of course, if it is front up, at the back down. Follow the loop without changing direction. Down. So it's going to be from right to left. From right to left. Let's apply this question. Receiving. How do I understand this? V, V is to the right. It's moon away, receding. In the case of receding, they will try to drag each other. As pole is receding, unlike poles face each other. This is going to be? M pole. M, that is going to be? S, -S pole. I cannot drag, but it's going to be S pole. Then apply right hand rule. Right hand is the M pole. Curl your forefinger around your pad. Back to? Front. front. Back to front. So draw it like this. It goes on like this. So leave, it lives from here. Live from here. Live, 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 live. So it's going to be from left to right. From left to right. This is how we find direction of the induced current on a loop. 